Hello my guys, gals, and non-binary pals, and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I asked Google, like the actual Google Assistant, what I should draw. Now these prompts were a lot more wild than I expected, so make sure you stick to the end of the video to see the wild ride I had with these prompts. Also, please subscribe. I'm trying to hit 3k by my one year anniversary on YouTube, which is around mid-January. So if we want to make it there in time, then make sure to hit that subscribe button. And on with the video. Okay, Google, tell me something to draw. I have an idea. Try drawing an old dog learning new tricks. Okay, thanks Google. Okay Google, thank you for your suggestion. Can you give me another thing to draw? Hmm, maybe I can help. Try drawing a dinosaur on vacation in Hawaii. Honestly, these are much more wacky than I expected them to be. I thought it was gonna be like, oh, draw, draw a dog, draw a tree, but no. So for the T-Rex on a vacation in Hawaii, I had a few ideas on where to start. So I was thinking of like drawing this little island where you could see like the whole island and have it have like one palm tree and then like do a classic vacation pose with a T-Rex where it was like laying in a pool chair with sunglasses on, classic like floral button up, some sort of beverage in hand with a straw and an umbrella poking out. But I wasn't really feeling inspired by the idea and I was kind of scared to draw a T-Rex and an island and a tree. There was a lot of scary things in that drawing that I don't normally draw. So I simplified it a bit to stuff that I'm more comfortable drawing. So I was like, okay, I'll just draw like a big T-Rex in an ocean staring down at like tiny people on a beach just kind of having a fun time there but the t-rex was still kind of scary like reptiles look so scary to draw they got all this skin and you know it, like t-rex structure is so particular but really when you think about it that's not how t-rexes have to look that's just people like shoving some skin on some bones and being like this is what they look like but who knows if that's what they looked like. I don't know if you've seen the image on the internet. A couple of people have drawn some pictures of it. But some people like to imagine a T-Rex, but with feathers. But that sounded much more comfortable to me and much more fun to draw. So I went with a fluffy bird T-Rex. I wanted it to look really cute and innocent among all like the people but just be really intimidating to create this big juxtaposition between like big bird t-rex and tiny people but t-rex is actually nice you know like that classic big scary intimidating thing is actually really fluffy and kind and cuddly so i want the t-rex to look very friendly very cute just like it wants to have a good time in the ocean. So for the line art, in order to make it look more feathery or bird-like, I didn't go for a typical like line art style. I went for this jagged way of lining where it kind of gives the illusion that there's all these feathers when really I just put a lot of zigzag lines. But it makes it look so fluffy. Like I just I just want to pet it. He looks so cute. He looks almost puppy-like. I don't know, something about the face just makes it look like, I don't know, it wants to lie on its back and get belly rubs. The claws are a little wonky on the T-Rex though. I wasn't quite sure how they should be attached, so just kind of shoved on some claws. And they're also not consistent at all. They're very different shapes, each and every one of them. But the line art was good enough for me. So I moved on to the coloring stage. And I don't know why, but when I was coloring the T-Rex, the first thing that came to mind was coloring it like a uh, green cheek. Oh god, we're having another one of these moments. I really should look up how to pronounce things before I go and record, but a green cheek conure? So I don't know why I was thinking of that when I was drawing this, but that's just immediately 
the color palette I imagined for the T-Rex pretty much. So I just went for a green and a really dark green. So it pretty much just looks like black, but you know, a more uniform color palette because it's also green. And then for the rest of the drawing, I kept it to like yellows and blues. So everything looked better together and not too chaotic. Then I, I've done this style of water foam before. If you remember for my June drawing? July? June? It was one of those two, I think. And I think it was June. So for my June month drawing I did, um, there was a beach there. And I did this weird thing of foam where I had like, I think the airbrush tool. And I just made some spirals and then I took the smudging tool and also made some spirals and I had really liked it on that so I'm like okay I'll do the same thing. Here it didn't really turn out as well. I don't know quite what I did differently. I could probably go back and watch that video and figure out how I did it but I don't know. I thought I knew well enough what I did apparently not because it did not turn out very well. I don't like how it looks. It's way too harsh while in that drawing it was much more soft. Maybe it's just something to do with scaling or I just got lucky that time. Who knows. I loved how the water had looked in that June drawing much more than this one. And then I just added in some clouds and that was pretty much the end of the drawing. Now this drawing, pretty simple. I didn't shade it at all because my god, this drawing a T-Rex was intimidating enough. But having to shade that, that scared me. So I didn't do that. I just kind of called it quits after I finished with the clouds. But I still like it. It's pretty simple. Pretty cute. I love that T-Rex. There's a lot of things I could have added to this drawing. But it's good enough the way it is. Then I moved on to the other prompt I got. And this one was harder for me to come up with an idea for. I didn't know where to start with an old dog learning new tricks. First of all, I need to think of how to convey a dog learning a trick. They need to figure out how I was gonna draw an old dog. None of the ideas I could really think of surrounding that were that interesting. Like for the T-Rex one, I made it a flippin' bird T-Rex because that was more interesting and fun to me. And also less scary, but we don't talk about that part, I promise. I'm not just lazy. It's all for the interest. So I was trying to think of, okay, how can I design an old dog at least? Like what would an old dog look like? Maybe I can just make a cool looking dog and that'll be good enough. And I don't know if it was just cause I made this during like early October. Yeah, I, I draw these videos way in advance. So I don't know if it was the Halloween spirit feeling me or maybe there's just something deeper going on. But for some reason, when I was thinking of when old dog looked like, my brain was like, hey, you know, dead dogs, they're really old. So I drew a dead dog learning tricks. And then I was thinking of what trick it could be learning. My brain, it came up with the greatest pun. It was like, what if we had the dead dog, this ghost dog learning play dead? I'm sure this has been done a thousand times before. But I found it too funny not to do. So, um, I went ahead and looked up some references for dogs playing dead. Then I went ahead and sketched out the dog playing dead. The legs looked really bad when I tried to add them, so I'm like, it's okay. It'll just be kind of wavy at the bottom like ghosts have. Um, and then I drew some arms, and they weren't looking right either, so I'm just like, he doesn't need arms, right? So, kind of just a blob with a dog head and a tail. And most of the tail gets cut out anyway. So make of that what you will. Then I had to figure out how I want to position everything. So I ended up having the hand with a bone treat um, cause I figured bones would be the best way to communicate a treat. And so I put that in the center. Then I put the tag play dead on either sides. I could have done a speech bubble or something. But I don't know, this is just what I ended up going with. I didn't know how I would want to position the speech bubble to make it look right. So I just decided not to do that and have some big old text so the pun is very clear. And after like I had positioned all that 
and like started drawing. Things just for some reason ended up getting real dramatic. So I added in this like black to red gradient for the background color, which looks intense as heck. And it gets more intense from there. So I started coloring the dog in with white and some gray to separate some areas. Then I turned down the transparency on that so it was see-through to communicate that it was a ghost. Then I was coloring in the hand and the bone. And I made the hand fairly light color so it would pop out from the dark, intense background that I went with for some reason. Like, I don't know what was going on with me when I drew this, but things just took a turn. Then, once again, I don't know what happened, but somehow I just started drawing blood on the hand and the bone. I- I don't know either. This just got so dark and intense so quickly. Google just wanted me to draw a dog learning tricks and I'm like, no! I'm gonna draw some animal's bone that this person took to teach their ghost dog to learn how to play dead. I really made this dark. So yeah, in my head I imagined like the story is that this person took some animal's bone and their hands still covered in blood. That bone is fairly clean for some reason. I added in too much blood at first and wasn't liking how it looked. So um, the bone ended up being pretty clean looking. But yeah, they stole some bone from an animal and are using it to train their dog. Then for the text, I had a black to red gradient. So the reverse of what the background was because I didn't just want plain black text or something. Then that wasn't popping out enough so I tried making a dark glow around it and I wasn't liking how that looked. I wasn't sure about how I felt about it but I left it for now. Um, I will go back and change it a bit later. So then I did some pretty simple and easy shading on the hand um, but I still wasn't liking how the hand was looking. So I darkened the whole entire hand and added a red glow to the bottom of it all to make it just extra intense. Like I keep just making things more and more intense. I don't know what was going on. Um, then I added a white border to the hand and bone and the dog and you know I even put my signature on it. I was like okay that's it that's a finished drawing right? But the text still wasn't feeling right so I started the text part over. Then I put down that same black to red gradient um, but this time I put a white border around the text and then had it glow black. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I don't know if it was better before or after. It definitely pops out a lot more now but overall this drawing it's just way too dramatic. I don't know why I made it this dramatic and like it's just so poppy. It pops out so much. It's so intense. There's so much bright colors. I don't know what happened. So I'm still not sure how I feel about it. Don't know if this was the route I should have taken. Probably not but I did it anyway and this is what we're stuck with. So that is the end of all the prompts because apparently Google only has two prompts in its system, I guess. So make sure you like the video and subscribe. Also comment down below which one of these drawings was your favorite. I'm not sure which one mine was. I think it might be the dog, but I'm still questioning how I feel about it. Also make sure to follow all my social media. I have a Twitter and an Instagram and I post there at least once a week. So go follow them and i will see you all next week